Hi friend, in this barbering tutorial I'm gonna show you what's the difference between straight cut, point cut and deep cut. Let's go! You are probably now wondering why you should listen to me. That's okay, it's a normal question. If you don't know me, my name is Cosmin. I have over 12 year experience behind the chair. Right now I run a business with four barber shops and as a trainer I help over 300 barbers, beginner and advanced to improve their skills. All you see here on YouTube is my experience which I share with you hoping you find something helpful. If this will help you I will be glad, if not I will still be glad so no hard feeling, let's start. Shears are one of our main tools so there is a must as a barber to have a strong control over them. Without being able to use the shears at the maximum capacity is like, I don't know, going fishing without understanding how to use the fishing hook, right? If you want to improve your shears work, one of the most important thing is to know how and when to use the shear cutting techniques. The top three shears cutting techniques are straight cut, point cut and deep cut. And each one creates different aspects for the hair. I will show you how they work and what each one does in the hair cutting process. First we have straight cut for which I keep the shear in horizontal position and I start cutting at a zero degree angle parallel with the floor. As you can see straight cut helps you create hard lines and it's used when you want to reduce the length and work with guides. I'm gonna show you on a mannequin hair as well to see how the hair looks after cutting in a moment but for now let's jump into the second technique. Next we have point cut for which I use the shear on a reverse position and start cutting at a 45 degree angle. By doing this you will again reduce the length but in the same time you will not create hard lines but you will obtain a natural aspect for the hair. Here you can clearly see the difference between straight and point cut. Next we have deep cut for which I use the shear again on reverse position and this time the cutting is at a 90 degree angle perpendicular to the floor. Deep cut is used when you want to keep the length but you need to reduce the density of the hair on a specific area. Here is the difference between point and deep cut. Even if it's looking simple you need to have a good understanding of these cutting techniques because they are the foundation for your ability to create outstanding haircuts. By the way if you want to go deeper in terms of what you need to create outstanding haircuts I have a free 45 minutes training where you can learn which are the top 3 crucial elements to create outstanding haircuts with quality and speed. I put a link in the description you can go and check it out after you finish this video just go for it there is a ton of great information and it's free. Now let's check this out on a hair as well. By using straight cut the hair will look uh, like this. As you can see I have reduced the length and at the same time there is a clear line which can serve you as guide if you need. Second by using point cut the hair will flow down naturally like this. I have still reduced the length but this time is looking natural. Next I have deep cut After I use it the hair will look like this I keep the length but at the same time I have reduced the density which helps me create a better texture a better natural look for the hair Another important thing to have a good straight and point cut execution the hair must be wet but for deep cut the hair must be dry. The reason is simple because the straight end point can reduce the length, you need precision and weighting the hair will stick the hair together and help you to have a better grip. And because deep cut is used only to reduce the density, you need to keep the hair dry because being dry the hairs will not stick to each other and you have the possibility to attack them individually without cutting too much and have the risk to reduce the, the length which you don't want. So leave a comment below and tell me where you feel uncomfortable when you use shears and if you like this kind of tutorials give a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe because I upload a new video every single week so make sure you hit the bell button to be notified first. As I said these three main cutting techniques are the foundation of a good shears work but they are just only a step in a hair cutting system. If you want to learn more I have a video here on the right uh, side of the screen where you can see how I work with them in a real time haircut process. Go check it out. Take care and see you soon.